Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for the final video in our Ferrari Championship Highlight Series. This is round 12 in the Season 4 2020 Ferrari Challenge. The races shown in these videos are the highest scoring attempts in the official series, so join me as I take you through the final round in my season. This is round 12 around Road Atlanta. We qualified fifth with a strength of field of 3.2k, so let's jump on board and see what happens. As we're coming around the final corner now, everybody gets away. Look at the top four, extremely close. It looks like Emil's going to have to defend from Gabby Montoro. Familiar name there as we raced him in Charlotte. Is he going to go around the outside of turn one? No. They're going to slot in single file as this 12 lap race begins. It looks like we are safe from Riera behind as we come around this right hander going down these S's. Now such a beautiful track. Really enjoyable to drive. Here we go down through the S's. Everyone slots in single file. We're going to keep fifth place with the number 12 car. 3.2k, a really high strength of field here. Many points on offer once again. Can we finish this season just as strong as the last couple of races have been as we come round the double right hand? And now it looks like Max Esterson already breaking away from the top group. 8,000 I rating. Wow, that guy is going to be quick. We know Gabby from Charlotte. He's going to be kind of quick, but it looks like those three are going to start battling. So maybe we can catch them up. Riera behind the number six car isn't going to be a slouch either. So we need to keep an eye on him. This is one of those rare few times where we actually recognize some of the names in the races. There's a big battle going on down here in lap two. Look at this. Two liveries of the same. We're on board with Michael Gross in the red car. Two similar liveried Ferraris there. Both called Perro. Perro Louis and Perro Julian. As Victor Gonzalez in the green car goes down the inside of one of the Perros. And look, we're on board with Michael Gross now with Davide right behind him as we're coming around the final corner. Michael Gross going up the inside of the final corner. That's dangerous. That's not going to work. Not this time round. He's going to be close on the exit as Perro runs wide onto the grass. He's going to have the inside for turn one. Now that is a great place to be if you can get the car alongside. And they touch! And Michael Gross is round. The number eight car spinning. He is way out of this race now. This has been an extremely close race so far as they go on to lap three out of 12. And Michael Gross is done. Let's have another look from onboard Hugo Molina. Now, just behind, he's in the same livery as Gabby, who's way up the front. Look at this. He nearly hits Davide there on the exit of turn one as he just swoops round the outside. Uh, Davide must have slammed on his brakes to avoid the spinning car. And then look at this. Now he's all over the back of Perro Julian. Hugo has made some right gains there into turn one. Look at this. The number four car. So you would expect it from him as he comes around the fast left. Trying not to run too wide onto the grass there. Look at this. Hugo all over the back of Julian now. Is he going to have to defend the inside of this next right-hander? Can Hugo go around the outside or is he going to try and get the switch back? It looks very close in the apex. He's going to bounce over the curb and he's round. No. Hugo had a good couple of laps. He gets a love tap there from Jasper and Davide as they go past. And now his car's just bouncing around. That is him. We are not going to see him for the rest of the race. That is unfortunate. His car's crabbing. There goes through Michael Gross, who had a spin earlier. We're going to fast forward to the end of lap three now. We're on board with Christophe Volle, another familiar name. So he had a lot of issues in Okayama the previous round. He's in 12th place currently. What is going on here? We've got a three-way battle for 12th place. Looking close, Perro Louis. That's the other Perro car. And there's Perro Julian in the background. So we're not just up the road from the battle that we were just watching. He's got a big slide on through turn one. They're very close. Perro Louis going around the outside of turn one. He's going to have the inside for the next left hand. I think they touch again. Victor Gonzalez having a look around the outside. Can he go for the inside of this right kink? No, he cannot. Perro Louis, though, gaining a position there. We'll have to have a look at a replay of that. It looks like Christoph got a big slide into turn one. Can we just double check that? There it is. The back end comes around. He cuts across the grass. Perro Louis gets a run, maybe a tap. Right as they come up here and this track, the yeah, look at that. Perro Louis moves over to the right, bit of a tap, gets the move done, gains that place. He's now in 12th place. On to lap four now, approaching lap five, and we are on board with Riera. That is us in front. Finally, we get to see how our race is going, our lonely little race. That's Gabby Montaro still up the road there in fourth, so he's still within reach, but it looks like he's pulling away. But we are under pressure from Riera to the number six car. He's having a look up the inside of turn one, but he's nowhere near close enough for us to even think about defending that position. It looks close. But it wasn't close enough to worry. As we come now into the right kink, it looks like we've got a good exit through there. And we're now going to go through the S's. We feel good through this section. It's such a nice section to drive. I cannot exaggerate enough, especially in these cars. Riera, though, putting the pressure on. As we fast forward to the end of lap five, approaching lap six, he's just as close now into the chicane. We didn't have to defend that time, but look at this. This is the closest he's been. We're approaching the halfway stage of this race. Are we going to lose fifth place on this lap? I love that view in the top left. Here we go. He's looking 
ever close. He's going to look to the inside. We're not going to defend. The outside line much more comfortable. We give him room just in case. Just about, but he wasn't close enough. The inside line, if you're not fully alongside, quite bumpy and quite scary if you don't know what the car on the outside is going to do. But it looks like we're safe. And we've got a great run through the kink. And we're pulling right away now on lap six. But this looks like we've gone wide into the right-hand S. And he's going to close right up now as we come uphill into this next left-hander. This is still for fifth place, ladies and gentlemen. And look at the snake of cars behind. That is one, two, three, four, five cars behind us. So a six-car battle for the top five finish. It looks like someone was trying to make a move at the background there. That's Puerta on Herdy, but he doesn't get it done. He wasn't close enough as we come around the double right-hander. Look at all these cars. Who else have we got? Sam Bentham and Christopher joining the battle as well as we go down towards the chicane. Now we're going to have to defend this just to stop him from trying to send it up the inside and pushing us wide on the exit. We get that nice and stopped. Look at how close he is. Can he get the run into turn one once again as we end lap six going on to lap seven. He is not letting this go. Riera just constantly hounding and putting the pressure on us throughout this race. Herdy and Puerta also looking feisty behind the number nine and the five car. 11 and 16 having their own little battle right at the back of this train. But look at this. We get a much better line into this right kink this time. It looks like Riera is going to have to start dealing with the pressure of Herdy behind him. Look how close Herdy is in the top left. Look at the battle. We've gone extremely wide through there again. And now Riera is going to close right onto the back of us once again into this left-hander. We're going towards the double right. Is the pressure getting to us? We need to try and keep this fifth place. 3.2k is a very high strength for field. The points are going to be unreal if we finish here. Probably our highest scoring round if we can keep this position. As we come through this right-hander now, he's going to have slipstream all the way down the straight, as are the other five cars in this battle. Who's going to make the move first? That's what we're waiting for. Someone needs to jump. Someone needs to send it up the inside, and then the battle will just have a domino effect, and it will affect everybody else's race. But who is going to be the one to make that move? We're approaching the chicane one more time as Riera's going to have a look up the inside. No, he's not. He's not close enough. We don't even defend it this time, but he closes right onto the back, nearly touching us there on the exit of the chicane. That was extremely close. That's going to give someone a run. That's Puerta looking around the outside of Herdy. Can he get that move done? That's going to be tight through there. Very fast down this right-hander. Can he keep it on track? He can. And look at that, Riera flashing his lights he's getting impatient Puerta absolutely making a cracking move around the outside of the final corner there as he comes around the outside of turn one and gets that move stuck in it looks like Christopher's trying to make a move on Sam in the background there can't get that done but Puerta up into seventh place now just behind Riera who's still in sixth Herdy is not going to like that he's going to want that position back who is going to make the next move that was an extremely good overtake but look at this it's not over yet so we're now on lap eight out of 12 laps Riera still in sixth place Puerta absolutely flying at this stage of the race he is he does look faster than Riera can he get the move done into the chicane is Riera going to get the slipstream on us or is Puerta going to get the slipstream on him into the chicane who's going to make the next move look at this six I cannot believe that this these six cars one of us hasn't spun yet someone I mean, it's inevitable. What do we reckon, folks? Who's going to be the one that loses out here? Is it going to be me? Is it going to be Riera? Is it going to be Puerta? Or is it going to be Herdy? Or is it going to be the two behind? It looks like, look at this. Riera late on the brakes, looking around our outside of the chicane there as we defended the inside once again. Is that going to ruin his exit into the final corner? Puerta getting very good exits out there. He overtook around the outside last time. He's looking to the inside this time of the final corner on the number six car of Riera. Is he going to get that move done? Riera keeps it on track. He's got the inside firmly for turn one. This move is done. Puerta is going to move up into sixth place. Unbelievable moves into the final corner here by Puerta. And look at this. Herdy being opportunistic. He's gone through as well. That's two positions lost for Riera. And he's looking around the outside to the inside of the king and no Puerta's gone round Herdy being too opportunistic there that oh that I don't like to see I mean Puerta was looking aggressive but he was being extremely clean he's lost loads of position he's now out of this fight there's only four of us have we lost two cars no there's five of us we're ahead of this group Never mind, this is Sam and Christopher. Christopher's going to have a look around the outside of Sam, but look at the Riera. He's lost four positions. He lost all of those positions in that little fight. That is not a good place to be. So that's sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth place he's gone down to as we keep fifth. As we go on board, we're going back to lap seven here. Uh, obviously missed some action. Victor Gonzalez having a look up the inside of Christoph Valer again. What, is there going to be an issue here? He breaks extremely late. Is he, that's not going to give him room. Christoph's going to make contact. That is not Christoph's fault. That was Victor Gonzalez. Getting, uh, getting a bit elbows out, trying to push him off, trying to get that move done by just breaking later than the guy in front of him. 
Um, that can be done better. Maybe I'll have another attempt. As there's another battle up ahead. That's Perro Louis and the car of Alex. Perro Louis going up the inside into turn one. That's another position. There's fights all over the place in this in this race. This is an amazing final round. Much better. We're on board with Jasper here. What's going on? He's just stopping. Oh, that's... <laughs> that is uh, not something that I see all the time. Let's go on board with Davide. I feel bad for Davide. This is top split, people. You don't expect people to just stop on the racing line like that. He actually tried avoiding it as well, but through that corner, nah, nothing could be done. I apologise, Davide, for that guy's behaviour. A bit foolish. Look at this. We're back on board with Christoph Now, Victor is going to have another go into the chicane. Can he get it done this time? Same thing. Christoph gives him room on the exit, though. Now he's going to get mugged by Perro Julian on the inside of the final corner. He's going to lose two positions in one chicane. Not a good day. He's gone down to 15th from 13th. But can he get the switch back down the main straight? He can. He's on the inside for turn one now. Christoph Volley getting his getting his elbows out, fighting for these positions back. He's on the inside for turn one. It's not done yet. There it is. Now it's done. He's moved across and the move is made. So he's only lost one position that lap on lap nine out of 12. And there's the car on the left. So we've caught up to our own battle. That car on the left will be Alvaro Puerta, who lost out in our battle. Look at that. It says seventh place on his car. So at the time he was in seventh and now he's down in 15th place. Oh, Alvaro having an absolute nightmare of a race. I'm sure he had another attempt after this, but now sticking with this battle, Alvaro is going to be making moves. He's going down the inside of Christoph Volley. Can he get this done without contact? That's tight. He's going to give him room. Christoph has to take to the grass. Perro Julian now having a look around the outside of the final corner. This corner, there's been lots of racing through here, which is really unusual as it's flat out, but it all depends on that exit of the chicane. Victor absolutely running away in 12th place now Alvaro wanting to chase him down and Perro Julian looking to get in on the action as we now fast forward we're on lap 11 look at this battle this is what it looks like with one lap to go we're approaching the final lap so you can see there Riera still down in ninth place he's missed out we've still got three cars behind us so we are now defending from Chow Heard is we fast forward to the final lap this is the gap as we approach the final chicane, final lap, we're still in fifth. Chow Hurdy doesn't look close enough. We're going to defend anyway just to stop him from being tempted for taking that gap. It looks like we've done enough. We've gone into the left. We've gone into the right. Now it's flat out all the way through here. Has he got a better exit than us? It doesn't look like it. He's going to have a look down the inside anyway to try and distract us. But this bit, flat out, no issues. And we cross the line in fifth place for our final round, round road Atlanta with a strength of field of 3.2k, people. This is a cracking result for the final round. There it is. Started fifth, finished fifth, 151 points after three attempts. Look at that run of final four races there. All over 100 points, really on form at the end of the season, which maybe shows how much we improved. We lost another drop round, which was Sakuba. That's the round that we dropped it on the final corner and the final lap. Thank you very much for sticking with us, people. Haven't decided what series we're going to do next. What I do know is that it's going to be B-Class. So keep tuned for the next series. As usual, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in. And if I don't see you on track this week, I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace!